everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the reverse half double crochet spike stitch, which you can see here in front of you. It creates a very unique looking fabric. It's quite beautiful. This is the front side and this is the back side. Both are really, really unique. It's a fairly dense fabric because of these spike stitches that you are going to be working and uh, I believe one suitable for a variety of projects so I would love to hear how would you would use this stitch down in the comments below. Uh, in the description of this video you'll find direct links for the items that I'm using today. I'm going to be using a 5 millimeter crochet hook as well as a worsted weight cotton yarn called Pima Cotton by Lion Brand. Also in the description of the video you'll find a direct link to the free written pattern which is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, I invite you to subscribe. Take a look around. This channel is updated weekly every Sunday morning with a new crochet stitch tutorial. Our stitch today is worked in rows. You'll start by making a slip knot and then by working a foundation chain. And your foundation chain can be any multiple of stitches plus one. So today I'm just going to go ahead and chain 20 stitches. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin by working a half double crochet stitch into the second chain from your hook. So count in one, two, a half double crochet into that second chain and then into each chain all the way across. When you come to the end of this first row you can chain one and turn your work. For row two, chain one and turn your work. We're now going to work a slip stitch into the first stitch and each stitch across. So insert your hook into that first stitch, yarn over, drop a loop, and draw it through that loop on your hook. Slip stitch into each stitch all the way across. For row three, chain one and turn your work. We're now going to begin working a row of our reverse half double crochet spike stitches. You're going to begin by working the first one in between that chain one and the first stitch. So you may have to pull it apart a little bit, but uh, working in between the chain one and that first half double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook into that space so you're working two rows below yarn under, so you're bringing your yarn under your hook, which is why it's a reverse stitch, and draw up a loop. Three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. That's your first reverse half double crochet spike stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across, working in between each of the stitches two rows below, so you're working in between these half double crochets. Yarn over, insert your hook into the space between the next two stitches, yarn under, draw up a loop, yarn over, and pull through all three. Repeat that all the way across, always remembering to yarn under. That's the trick for this stitch. When you come to your final stitch, worked in between the last two stitches, you can chain one and turn your work. You're now going to simply repeat your rows two and three. So your row two was the slip stitch into the first stitch 
and each stitch all the way across followed by your row three which was the reverse half double crochet spike stitch I'm going to work all the way across here as I'm almost to the end and then I'll show you once again how to do that reverse stitch into this new row So at the end of your slip stitch row, chain one, turn your work, your first reverse half double crochet spike stitch is going to be worked in between that chain one and the next stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook, two rows below in between those first two stitches, yarn under, drop a loop, yarn over and pull through all three. Repeat that all the way across and that's it. So for the rest of your pattern re repeat your rows two and three for as long as you would like. Fasten off and weave in your ends and uh, your work is complete. So thank you so much for joining me once again. I invite you to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Until then happy crocheting. Bye.